So here's a theremin I built um, a number of years ago uh, here uh, from a kit, minimum theremin. Um, it was it was a great great little project. It taught me a lot about um, signal modulation, um, oscillatory circuits. So here we have two hex inverters. <coughs> Excuse me, and um, one of them is fixed, and the other one is variable. And that variable hex inverter is based on on um, you know the, each of the inverters have a number of resistive and capacitive elements. Um, and again, one of the variable one has a, a certain uh, capacitor that is wired into the um, the, th the theremin's antenna, which essentially acts as a capacitor and um, contributes to the variable capacitance of one of the oscillators, and thereby varying its frequency. And then these two uh, the these two frequent these two hex inverters. Um, output their individual frequencies and then they're modulated at this diode here and um, and it's interesting because the frequency of each of these is actually rather high outside of the uh, audible range um, but it's their beat frequency once they're modulated that um, that creates the the audible frequency we hear um, so it, it's just a it's just a really great circuit and the theremin's just a really neat idea. Um, I've explored it a bit how uh, sensitive circuits are can be um, to their environment which is something that I'm very interested in. And then uh, what I did is I output the signal to um, this let's see it's here somewhere there it is this amplifier here um, I actually did wire um, together this common emitter amplifier here I mean, not be in the light there, and uh, it was it was a fun little experiment. I mean, it's just quite a hack job, and I don't know if you could see it, but these resistors are I think they're half watt resistors, um, and I was trying to distribute the freak the uh, current through them because uh, th they heated up quite a bit. So I had a lot of current running through there, and I was using it to amplify the signal out of the theremin. Um, to uh, mixed results. Well, actually, it worked fine. I could vary uh, vary the the gain here from this uh, simple amplifier, um, but uh, but again, I, I said I, I I had too much current running through these guys, so I'm cheating today with the uh, with the amplifier. And then the um, the circuit is powered actually by uh, this DC power source that. I built and I'll, I'll go over that in a moment. So this is the theremin in action. Which is essentially capacitive sensing which I've explored with the Arduino a bit. 